Someone ask, uh, what's the best spot to find sheds? That's probably a question in, for you. In the woods. I always tell people that. Like, I found them everywhere. I don't, um, bedding areas, you know, food sources. It's, uh, I've always had a hard time, like, putting my finger on, like, this is where they're at all the time. You know, it's always just like I find them, found one driving down the road the other day in the ditch. <laughs> <laughs> the places that I find them the most is probably feeding areas and bedding areas. I think the travel yeah. trips in between, not so much, but right yeah. in the bedding areas and right into feeding areas, especially yeah. the feeding areas. You, you find a spot mm -hmm. where all the deer are feeding. Be laying everywhere out you, there. And a lot of times you'll find several antlers in one little field or something. Yep. Yep. You got to, you got to think about where the deer are and that's where they're going to be at this time of year. So if you're not, you know, you're not in the deer, you're not seeing deer tracks, you're not, you know, all that stuff, then, um, probably not going to find any, any so saying, you're probably a better person to ask you do more shed hunting i go yeah and, you know walk past sheds and mm -hmm. go look for where they live right right um yeah i mean if shed, shed hunting is is fun but uh, you gotta gotta be careful you can waste a lot of time doing it if you're not you know um my shed hunting is usually very um, i'm looking for like specific deer or i'm uh you know stumble upon them in the in the um you just sh shouting around. I'm I I have like some weird sixth sense about shed deer antlers too. Like I, what the hell you do, yeah, yeah. I I don't know why. Every place but... where we're out, I mean, go ahead and say it. Every place we go, we could be in the middle of nowhere, and his head <laughs> will just spin around like on a swivel, and he'll go. There's a shed over there, and he'll walk 852 yards and find a shed that you can't even see until you <laughs> feet from it. I found one. Uh, I found Crazy one walking out. I found one. Uh, I think I found one on almost every trip I went on. I found one uh, in late season in Fort McCoy walking out in the dark. I just like, I don't know what, so, something made me like shine my light to my right. And I looked over and there was, I shined it right on the shed. Just yeah, we're sleeping. Point. We're sleeping. And all of a sudden he jumps out of his cot, <laughs> head starts turning around, <laughs> runs out the door, comes in in his underwear with a shed on <laughs> I'm like them shed dogs you were talk talking about earlier. Yeah, he's a shed dog. Uh, we should get you a shirt that says shed dog. Yeah, I was driving down the road the other day uh, on the on the uh, uh, and I was talking. I was actually talking to Tim, and I said, "Oh, I got to go. I think I just saw a shed on the side of the highway." <laughs> and he's like, "He's like what?" And I'm like, "I, I swear I did." And I turned around and there was one laying there. It, it was a big, as big as I mean, just laying up there, tines up. It just dropped it because it was the there's blood on the pedicle and stuff, and it was it was oh, uh, oh four or five years ago. I saw a pretty nice one on the side of the, the side of the. Uh road uh-huh and i just took note where it was and i went home and uh i posted there was a nice shed laying on the side of the road at this intersection it said where it was uh-huh and uh, uh a bunch of people were like i'm gonna go get it i'm gonna and, and nobody did next day i go by it's there again really? <laughs> i posted still there and yeah. i think it took like four or five days before somebody actually went to that intersection and picked it up mm-hmm yeah, this was uh this was laying like in the gravel in the on the side of the road or whatever. We actually mm -hmm. my dad we got permission to coyote hunt and stuff on the on the you know the place it was would have the buck would have ran to mm -hmm. um or been going to, but we gotta talk to him about deer hunting. Um anyway. Are you gonna be What's out the there in November coyote hunting out of your tree stand? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 I'll have to, yeah, my dad get a kick out of that. I'd tell him, I'll have to tell him that. What's the biggest shed you found, Dan? Have you found any like real mm -hmm. giant ones? Yeah, I've got a, a, a few decent ones. Um, I don't think I got any that are just absolute monsters, but I got a few that are like, uh, uh I don't want to put a score on them, but uh, one uh, four point that's just gigantic. Yeah. And, uh, I got, uh, one side off of my uh 15 pointer that was uh that would score pretty high um and a lot of uh you know you know a lot of them that are you know if they're on a buck they'd be 150 or 160. right i don't think i have that would go boone and crockett or anything even though i've seen deer a lot like that a lot but there's a lot more people looking for those sheds and i'm not and whenever there's right. something really big around here there's a lot of people scouring the area where it lives for those sheds yeah, it's funny because I don't see run into a lot of people hunting them. It's like mm -hmm. they got no faith they could kill the thing, but they 
they like to pick up the antlers. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, there was a guy that uh, um, a certain piece of public around here. He's like uh, me and him for the longest time. Dan were the only two guys that would shed hunt this particular area, and we we got to kind of develop a friendship over it. And I hunted it, um, and he had no interest at all in hunting it. I mean, he just like I got my private farm. That's where I hunt. He's like, I, he's I sh- he's he's not gonna give me the sheds, but he's like. I'll show you the ones I find so you can hunt them, you know. I'm like, all right. Hey, everybody. If you like the channel, make sure you subscribe right here. And if you like the clips, I got two more options for you. Two options right here. Subscribe right here. See you guys.